if you had me for a first semester general chemistry, then you probably did this uh, as a homework problem. And I recycled it here because it's such a good question for what we're doing now with titrations in Gen Chem 2. It says, what is the pH when 17 milliliters of 0 0.106 molar sodium hydroxide, that's going to be a strong base, is added to 27.4 milliliters of 0 0.127 molar HCl. That's going to be a strong acid. And we only need one thing strong to be a reaction that goes to completion for a molar ice table. Um, right, and we will we'll solve it a little differently than we did in first semester. We will set up a molar ice table. Uh, around the reaction between HCl and sodium hydroxide. We, uh, now that we're in Gen Chem 2, we can also say that this is really 0 0.127 hydronium, uh, molar hydronium. We could also say this is 0 0.127 molar hydrogen ion concentration. Either of those are fine. And we know that this is 0 0.106 molar hydroxide. And so you can do HCl plus NaOH, which would be more like a Gen Chem one. You can do hydronium plus hydroxide in your mole ice table. I'm going to do hydronium plus hydroxide, which is much more the Gen Chem 2 type of thing to do. This is a reaction that goes to completion, and we're going to set up a mole ice table. And uh, let's see, uh, transfer our H plus, we get H2O uh, liquid plus H2O liquid. Lo and behold, this is the inverse of the KW reaction. So for this mole life table, it's actually 1 over KW is the K value, which is 1 point zero times 10 to the plus 14 because the kw is minus 14 in the denominator so this reaction goes way to completion and makes water all right so uh in this particular case you're going to find the moles of acid moles of h and that's going to be your moles of hydronium you're going to find your moles of hydroxide from there, you're going to find your limiting reactant. And at this point, you'll have one of them left over. And it looks like since our concentration is larger for HCl, and since our volume is larger for HCl as well, there's going to be more moles of your hydronium left over. And that means there'll be some number here, and there'll actually be a zero there. And our way of doing this is you always look to see what you have left over. We have hydronium left over. We have nothing else but water left over. I will be forming some water over here, but that just adds to the water that's the solvent. It doesn't affect anything as far as pH goes. So now you're going to have some moles of HCl or moles of hydronium left over here. You're going to then find the concentration of that hydronium. It's going to be uh, whatever you get here, mole of hydronium. And those are left over, of course. Oops, I don't need a bracket there. And here's the important thing and why I'm carrying this through so far. You need the total volume in the denominator. The total volume is going to be your volume of your HCl plus your volume of your sodium hydroxide. Once you know the concentration of your hydronium ion, you can then go ahead and um, calculate pH, because pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration.